I know it's a cornball thing. But love is passion. Obsession. Someone you can't live without. Hmm. I say, fall head over heels. Find someone you can love like crazy and who'll love you the same way back. How do you find him? Well, you forget your head and you listen to your heart. I'm not hearing any heart. Because the truth is, honey, there's no sense living your life without this. To make the journey and not fall deeply in love. Well, you haven't lived a life at all. But you have to try. Because if you haven't tried, you haven't lived. Bravo! Give it to me again, but the short version is dead. Stay up. positive outlook lacks realism. I spend too much time dreaming and not enough time seeing life for what it really is. So what is life really? Pain, loss, disappointment, families divided over politics and vaccines. Just like everyone in life, I have experienced it all, but life is about choices. I choose to see the good in everyone, to be kind above all else, and take nothing in life for granted. I choose to acknowledge the pain, but not dwell on it. And I choose not to let the opinions and choices of others affect me so profoundly I forget to enjoy my life. I choose to unapologetically be me. And if I'm too Sally Sunshine for someone, that ain't my problem. Ryan, you taught me that. And you remind me every day that I deserve to be loved for exactly who I am. This is why I choose you. As you know, I never wanted to get married. I always had this vision of being with someone without the title. <laughs> and I always joked around with you that I wanted to be more like Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. <laughs> they were together forever, never married, no title, nothing. But the day I met you, I was torn and conflicted with myself and how I wanted to be with us. But ever since the first day I met you, my ideas of a couple changed. I was going through a pretty bad time in my life when I met you that a lot of people don't know about. You opened up to me without judgment and only understanding. That was the moment I fell in love with you. You've always loved me for who I was, with all my faults and whatever good you saw. I love how we can just sit and just make jokes on each other with no care in the world and be complete nerds and not care what anyone else thinks about us. I promise for as long as I live to make sure you always have a smile on your face, make you laugh at nothing tell you how much you mean to me. I promise to always be the jackass that you fell in love with. <laughs> the person that complains when you ask me to do something when it's not in your time frame. Let's be honest, when I say I'll do something, I'll get it done. Maybe an hour, a day, a week, a year, whatever. Let's be honest, it will get done eventually. <laughs> never to take you for granted and I vow to be the man that you deserve. I vow to always love you even when you leave the bathroom door open, when you walk around like Ebenezer Scrooge, and snore to the point where I can't sleep at all. But most of all, I promise to love you for the amazing woman that you are, just, <laughs> just that somehow came across my path that makes me a better person every single day. Every girl dreams of finding her Prince Charming. And for those of you that know Ryan, you'll appreciate it when I say I may not have found a prince, but I definitely found my princess. <laughs> so princess. 
says, I vow from this day forward to love you for everything that you are, to challenge my geometric skills and build all the Legos you want, to laugh when you break into random song just as you do to me, to always challenge you to be the best version of yourself. You deserve happiness. We deserve happiness. And don't forget that happiness is a choice. You're my choice. You're my happily ever forever. I love you. That was amazing. <laughs> well, by the power invested in me, by the state of California, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but really only because your love permits it, I am now pronounce you man and wife, and you may kiss your bride again. <laughs> Laura's father, and uh, I met Ryan about two years ago, I think, when I went to stay at your house, and I noticed uh, how well you guys got along together and how much good times you had together. Really happy to see my daughter happy like that. Give it up for Bob. We appreciate Bob. It's awesome that you let Ryan and Laura get married where you smoke all your pot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Laura. You make Ryan a better person. Ryan, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I really am. I'm honored that I get to welcome you to the family. And I'm excited that I have a sister. <laughs> so I'd like to wish you, Laura and Ryan, big time happy. Big time happy for all the adventures you have yet to have. Big time happy as you laugh so hard sometimes you pee. Big time happy when you travel to new places, build new Legos, and adopt new animals. Big time happy even when things seem insurmountably sad. Big time happy in the mundane moments that make up this beautiful life that you'll never forget. And big time happy for the partnership you always imagined now coming true.